Kevin Spacey was spotted for the first time on a film set back on U.S. soil for his new movie Peter 5-8 in Dunsmore, California on August 24. The embattled 62-year-old actor was seen wearing all black and lighting up a cigarette during what marks his second film role since numerous sexual assault allegations came to light in 2017 and tanked his career. Over 20 men have accused the former House of Cards star of sexual misconduct, but Spacey has continued to deny all assault allegations. Spacey was seen on set surrounded by a small amount of production personnel wearing a black turtleneck and matching slacks with a wool overcoat. The actor looked relatively chipper all things considered as he flashed a smile at one point and lit up a cigarette before shooting some scenes. He has reportedly been filming in the small northern California town this week around the clock, per TMZ. In May he booked his first film role in virtually in four years, Luamu Chedi Senyo Dio, which translates to The Man Who Drew God, which shot in Italy. He never publicly commented on the role but the film's director Franco Nero told ABC News in May, I'm very happy Kevin agreed to participate in my film. I consider him a great actor and I can't wait to start the movie. Spacey has been on the receiving end of cancel culture and the hashtag MeToo movement since 2017 after 20 young men reported sexual misconduct by him at the London Theatre, The Old Vic, between 1995 and 2013. Netflix dropped him from House of Cards and after that point he kept a low profile, despite facing numerous lawsuits and an onslaught of assault allegations, all of which he has denied. The first to allege assault against Spacey was Rent star Anthony Rapp who told BuzzFeed News in October 2017, that in 1986, when he was just 14, a then 26-year-old Spacey climbed on top of him in a bed after a party and made a sexual advance. Spacey tweeted in response that he was horrified and did not remember the encounter which he called inappropriate drunken behavior. In the second half of the tweet he shared that he was choosing to live as a gay man and said he would be examining my own behavior. A second theater actor Roberto Cavazos also corroborated the story with his own and said he had couple of unpleasant encounters with Spacey who he said squeezed him at one point. Just days later the two-time Oscar winner was dropped from his agency CAA and announced that same day that he would be seeking evaluation and treatment. By mid-November of that year 20 men over the age of 18 had come forward to accuse him of a range of inappropriate behavior which included behavior that made them uncomfortable to inappropriate touching. In April 2018 the Los Angeles District Attorney's Office announced they were investigating one sexual assault allegation from 1992 in West Hollywood and two weeks later shared there was a second investigation for a 2016 incident in Malibu involving a masseuse. In September 2018 he was sued by the masseuse who said the American beauty star had forced him to touch his genitals. The man claimed he suffered emotional pain and distress but Spacey's attorneys maintained that the encounter was consensual. Kevin did not face charges for the alleged 1992 incident as the statute of limitations had expired and the victim was not underaged. Additionally the LA County District Attorney's Office dropped the charges made against him by the masseuse because the alleged victim passed away during the investigation, and no case could be proven without a victim. The lawsuit was dismissed. Another incident involved a teenager on Nantucket Island, Massachusetts in 2016 where he was said to have plied the victim with alcohol, unzipped his pants and groped his genitals. He was charged with indecent assault but pled not guilty to the charges. 
after the victim invoked his Fifth Amendment right against self-incrimination while testifying about a missing cell phone, which the victim claimed initially had footage via Snapchat and text proof of the incident, Nantucket prosecutors dropped the felony sexual assault charges. The complaining witness was informed that if he chose to continue to invoke his Fifth Amendment right, the case would not be able to go forward, District Attorney Michael O'Keefe said in a statement. A civil lawsuit was also withdrawn by the victim. The latest allegation comes from production company Media Rights Capital MRC, that is suing him and seeking millions in damages after they alleged in a 2019 lawsuit that he groped a production assistant on set, according to The Hollywood Reporter. Multiple sources claim to THR that Spacey groped the PA on set who had been tasked with driving the actor to hospital after he injured his hand during a promotional shoot for the show. The assistant is said to have later complained to a superior about the incident. It is also alleged that he groped an actor who wanted to audition for the show. Dailymail.com had reached out to representatives for the actor, who have so far been unavailable for comment. The company is claiming that Spacey's alleged misconduct devalued the show, which ended up getting cancelled by Netflix. Spacey has reportedly filed a counterclaim against the independent production company, claiming the sexual misconduct and assault allegations against him have been exaggerated. In his claim, Spacey alleges that MRC still owes him money, claiming they have not paid him after the first round of sexual misconduct allegations he faced in 2017, when Anthony Rapp claimed a then 26-year-old Spacey tried to sexually assault him when he was 14 in 1986. Spacey claims that MRC have illegally withheld his compensation following the multitude of accusations, 